friends? Gonna go see together? Go on, we walk. Well, I want to go in the house and see the house and Go, go. Oh my God, it's a carrot. Oh my goodness, look at this, Zoe. Is this cool? Well, cause she's eating it. The rocket is eating it. Yeah, yeah. Rock, spit that out, Rock. Rock. <laughs> no. What is that? Is that the, is that his paws? That's his paw print. Yeah, that's his paw print. Yeah, he's a big rabbit, isn't he? Is that bigger than your foot? Wait, wait. Wait, follow his paw print. Let's follow his paw print. Happy Easter, everyone. Happy Easter. Well, happy pre-Easter. Uh, it's a day before Easter. Yeah, we're celebrating on the Saturday instead of the Sunday because Luke is filming tomorrow. Mm. So we thought we'd do Easter a day early. It's a beautiful day. And what we're doing right now is we're changing over this rental car and we're getting a new one. And how long are we having the car for? A month. One month Finally. without changing baby seats or changing cars. Oh, thank goodness gracious. Come on, Ariane. And you if you're new to this channel, we, are, we we have got a Y62 on the way. So this should be our last rental car. And we found out our Y62 is in Melbourne. So yes, like Alex just said, this should be our last rental car. We've made it to the um, car rental joint and we just drove in and we've seen a boat on the roof. That's a CJ boat. Look how they bolt everything under the boat, yeah? Mm. Oh yeah, that's good. Yeah. Uh, park over here. That's the car there, I reckon. Uh, Alex is going to go in. We're going to get this baby car seat out with Ari is on. The car's clean. And um, then we'll show you what the next car is going to be. We don't know if it's even... This car's a good one. See, there's a down month one. This is the car we got for a month, so... Fingers crossed. Hopefully it is. I reckon it's going to be alright, yeah. I'm over this car dealing shit, but it could be worse. It's not the end of the world, though. Lucky I got a car. Yes, correct. Car seats out, car's clean. And that's it. Alex is just inside organizing the other car. And I'm excited to see what the other car is. We've just seen the car. Oh, yeah, the car looks good. Good, eh? Yeah? Looks good, man. It looks good. <laughs> looks good. Looks good. Hey, bud. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. Do you want to sign? Yeah, please. Wait, so there's your inspection report for that car. Yeah. Um, registration. Full of unleaded, it yep. does have to come back full when yep. you return. Car looks sick, are you wrapped? Yeah, come here. Yeah, uh, we're gonna show you the car in a sec. We're just gonna double check this car, make sure everything's out of it, and then you know the drill. We're gonna go suss the other car. Alex, you're not supposed to be lifting heavy. You were sick this morning. Put on my mum first. Watch out for this plug. All right, ready for the car reveal? In three, two, one, bang, there she is. Car reveal. Does that have a tow bar? Oh, it's got a tow bar. Yeah. No, it doesn't. You got me excited, then. I thought to myself, I'm really struggled. Uh, we're going to show you the inside in a second. We're going to put this baby seat, seat here. In. Wow, is that cool? Very cool. Ari, is that cool? So what we do is when we get a rental, we get our phones and we video inside and outside of the vehicle just to ensure you that if there's any damage on the vehicle Why that they're not going to pin it for you like later that? on all right because if there's a if there's a mark that we didn't see at least it's on the video like this see perfect example guys look at that that there is 150 bucks that would have stung me for but now i've got it on camera there she goes um, but at least now if alex goes into labor we can just drive to the hospital we can put the car seat in the car the other one and then we're good to go so we're super happy with that, man. And we are sweating today, it's so hot. All right, we're in the car. Oh, these seats are hot. It's not bad. It's honestly, I'm so happy with yeah, this car. Yeah, this is really good, man. What's that light on there for, that orange light? I don't know what that orange light is, honey. Is on? How's your seat? Oh, Ari, can better you turn that than, down? Better than the Suzuki. Oh, yeah. Better? At least you're a bit higher now. We're not so low with the other car. Oh, it feels good. Oh, man. All right. All right, guys. Welcome to our car for the next month. Next month. Please be good to us. It's the baby car. Hopefully the baby comes before a month. We don't know. We have really... Oh, she's going to come by the 8th. Why? Yeah. She has to. Why? She has to. She can't overcook that long. Ah, oh, true. Yeah. 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 So if anyone wants to know how much it costs, it was 11, over $1,100. Yeah, Just. so it was $1,160. 
Um, but what we were working out is on average, we were spending about $250 to $300 minimum a week on cars and then plus Uber on top of that to get like to the car rental place, pick up that rental or get home from the rental from dropping it off. Um, so all up, like I worked out and it was going to be about $500 cheaper a month in order for us to have this car in the driveway for the whole month and then Luke just hire a ute when he wants to take the boat out. And a ute's worth around $90 a day. Plus yeah. getting dropped off of the Uber, which is like $30 there, $30 back, so 60 At least now I can just drop Luke off with this and he can just pick it up. Yeah. So no more Uber, because I think last month we spent it was $587 we spent on Uber last month, and that was only for three weeks. That's mental. Yeah, and like on top of that, included in that was obviously like a hospital visit, because I was having like minor contractions, so I went to hospital. Um, so yeah, it just feels so much better to have a car in the driveway now, doesn't it? Yeah, I love it. I'm wrapped. I'm really happy. Well, we're on our way down south. 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 We're on our <laughs> way down south now. Um, because we're gonna go look at a fishing spot for Luke for tomorrow. Um, we're hoping that we can access it by car. It looks like a sandy road, so I don't know if we're gonna be able to access it, um, but we'll see. So if it's worth showing you, we will show you, but if it, we just get to a dead end and we're like, yeah, we can't go any further, then you'll know, because you won't see it in this video. Do you know what that is? That's life without a tow bar and a car, because yeah. I got no boat a to take it. Drive. So I gotta, I gotta think outside the box, you know, and try and make it work. Yeah, it's fun. What did you get me? Really? You said just a can of meat. Thank you. Did you want a steak and pepper? No. They look really good. Yeah, You're going to regret it. I know, it's all right. I told Luke last night, I said to him, there's like maximum three weeks before we have this baby. And I never eat like ice cream at night or dessert or anything. Like I usually, yeah, make sure that I don't like go over and like indulge so I don't put on weight. But I'm like, effort, I'm pregnant, so I'm going to. And I said to Luke, just enjoy it. Like, enjoy the next three weeks with me where you can just, like, enjoy food and just take it all in and whatever. And then, like, we'll both go strict and, you know, I've got to lose the baby weight and so on and so forth. Yet still, you didn't get a pie. I don't, don't, you do want a pie. I don't want to make it harder for myself to lose any more weight. You don't have to lose weight to begin with. Steak, cheese and bacon. They're not that big, are they? No. $7.50 for a pie, I've seen the price, I was just like, no. Nah. So the reason is, $7.50 for a pie, and I'm not really a pie lover. Like, if I was like, loved pies, I'd pay the $7.50, but I was just like, yeah, I'll get a pie, just to get it. And then she FaceTimed me, and I was like, $7.50, right, I was so like, so how much nah. is a normal pie? If you go to Coles, I can get four and 20 pies, oh, I'll pack no, a no. four. If you were to go to a petrol station and grab oh, like but, a pie that's been sitting there from the morning, it'd be at least $5.50. But that, but, these are good pies and made with 100% Aussie beef. And let's be honest, someone's not going to eat all their food. It might, my, it might be Ari. So I'll just eat Ari's. Well, that's why I didn't get a mini sausage roll though. Why? So I can eat Ari's sausage roll. That's a nice boat. That is a nice boat. It is so bad. Oh, that day right Yeah, I got you a sausage roll. It's just a bit hot at the moment boat, though, baby, okay? Check out that size of that no. boat, boys. How is it? Good? Worth the $7? I haven't even hit the center yet. Where the cheese is. And I'm frothy. Yeah. You should have got one. Can I have a bite? Really? Yeah. Nah, I'm joking. <laughs> it honestly smells good. It's such a good pie. I'm loving it. <laughs> She's trying to rub it in. Aria leftovers. Hey, I heard you want to leave this place where we grew up. This old town, just put it all behind. Remember, you and I would always find somewhere to hide when we were kids so we could see and hear the water run. The river's gonna cry when you're gone.
What are you getting today? Disney princesses. So that's what we're gonna go to. I've got two spots to go check out. Um, I'll be going tomorrow, which is what? Monday. We didn't have to do an early Easter after all. Yeah, but it's... But now we can have two Easters. <laughs> Alex has already started this morning off with a bang vacuum in. All right, mate. Show us what you're doing. Walk us through it. No, it's just from the um, pies yesterday. It's got friends over here. I did buy some stuff yesterday from the tackle shop, so for the for the rock fishing. So I got a hundred pound leader. I've got some sinkers. Nah, and I've got these hooks. These are five oh seven quality hooks. I used a BCF voucher from my dad, so thanks, Dad, Dave. Just trying to find a good spot for me to fish out tomorrow to catch some massive, like a monster fish off some rocks. That's the aim. But I just don't know because I'm new in Cairns here in North Queensland. It's a bit tricky to find somewhere that I know where to fish. You want me in the car? Yeah, alright. So if no one knows where we are, this is Mount Sheridan. And when you come at 12 past 9 in the morning, you get the best car spark, car park in the house. Yeah. What's the what's the temp right now, Al? At 9 o'clock. Feels like 35.1. Oh my goodness. I already got a fairy, a mermaid. A, a baby and a pregnant mummy. <laughs> Thank you, Mom. Oh my God, that's gorgeous. Look at that. Look at that. This fish, oh, he's just caught a massive fish. I think it's a bar, I don't know. It looks like it. Oh, hey, mate. Good fish. It's on bloody legal, so. That's mate, lunch. look how beautiful that fish is, mate. I'll give you the clean Just side. now? You got him? Just now, mate. Just missed Just it. Just a little three-inch pink plastic. He's only a little bubber, eh? Man, as I was going to the spot, he's landed a friggin' barra. That is crazy. Off the bank, man. Soft plastics, pink soft plastics. So we might work all this area tomorrow. We'll see how we go. Yeah, I don't know. This is a good spot. But he's telling me that we can't in an MG, we can't make it to where we want to go in this thing. I don't know. Did you see that? What was it? Barramundi. I knew just it. Just got it then. I saw it. Like he had the thing in his mouth and I was like, that mouth is just too big to not be a barramundi. 